Hey guys, uh, Laura back again from CRS. We are out here in Nashville at the Omni Hotel enjoying all these great artists. And now I'm with Paul Bogart. How are you, Paul? I'm great. I'm great. It's great to be here. So I was just handed your new album, Leather. Yeah. And tell us about this. So it, it was my first first record I put out in probably three or four, well, probably four years. Um, and I had just, I'd been writing a bunch and... Um, and it was just time. Okay. Um, my wife and I had we'd had a baby over the last, and that's probably why it took so so long to I put mean, out new music. I that's kind of important to raise, yeah. to help raise uh, your kids. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and so now he's he will be two next month. His name's Jet. Aww. And uh, and then Tanya, his his mama, is about to have a ba baby Bogart number two um, anytime in the next four to six weeks. Okay, so. so that's not who you came in with. That no, that, so I that started was to say. Bev. Oh, okay. So it, I started. Well, I'm not sure who, who it was. Okay, because I started to say, if somebody out there is like having a baby in a, a couple of days oh, no. or weeks, I, what? <laughs> no, my, my wife, so Tanya, she's... She's big pregnant right now. She's starting to get uncomfortable. I mean, it's just the end of her pregnancy. You're so. the second the second interview I've had. The one before you, his wife, nine days, they're expecting their first. Oh, my goodness. And she wanted to come, but we were like, no, Aaron, it's okay. You wouldn't want to have the, so, is it Tanya? Tanya, Tanya. like Tucker. Yeah, so you wouldn't want to be here either right That's now. Right. I'm sure you're not very happy with him that you're feeling so miserable right now. Yeah. But well, it'll all be, and so is this one a boy as well? It's, it's a little boy. Oh, so okay. we'll have Jet, and we hadn't figured out a name yet for this one, but we'll uh, we'll meet him and we'll we'll figure out a name at that yeah, point. Yeah, that'll all come. Oh yeah. Um, so I I heard a couple things real quick that that I was being told about you, and rodeo is something that yeah. that you're into a lot. And we were in Cheyenne um, at Cheyenne Frontier Day sure. last year. Yeah. So you bet. I have to ask you about you won something in rodeo that I'm going to let you talk about. Sure. So so I've, I've team roped and roped calves since. I was just a little guy. Um, my dad taught us kids when we were babies just to, to be horseback and rope and so forth. And, um, and it kind of stuck with me. Right. And I still get to rope a good bit now. Uh, I, I rope in the uh, American Quarter Horse Association. Rodeo put me through college. Um, so I... It was like it, at that point in college. It was like I, I've got to, I've got to figure out a, a way to make a living. And why in the world I chose music to do that? <laughs> it was like music or rodeo. Which one would be tougher? You know. So, uh, but no, I love it. Music is, is uh, it's making us a living, and I, I love living here in town and doing what I'm doing. We've been right. been here for about a decade, and um, but yeah, on the weekends that I'm not on the road playing music, I'm, I'm oftentimes at a at a big team roping or a calf roping somewhere, and um, and oftentimes I'll you know I'll rope in the rodeo, and we're the band sitting up to play the rodeo dance afterwards. So and it's, then, uh, so do you plan on passing that on to your boys? You know, I, I'm not going to push anything on them by no means. If they want to rope, I'll do my best to teach them, and and I feel like I I, I can right. teach them to be little horsemen and 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 cowboys. Uh, and then, yeah, at this point, Jet thinks it's pretty cool that, that oh, yeah, <laughs> and he and he can set a horse. For a two-year-old, he can set a horse pretty decent, and I'm I'm proud that so he. So it must be in the blood then. It just. <laughs> you know, I think it, he's he's drawn to any large animal. It was pretty funny at Christmas. Uh, we went to a live nativity, and Jet just here's a pair of camels, and they're thousand-pound animals, and he just walks right up just just because I guess he's used to being around yeah. our horses and stuff. So and and you know, kids kids until I don't I don't know when they develop it. I mean, my daughter's 29, my son's 19, and I don't think either one of them has still developed a sense of fear but especially at two years old sure. there is no there's no sense of fear for some of these yeah. kids why can't I touch this one I can right I can get on a horse I know so That's this right. is just a tall horse well it, you know we keep I keep them around I've got a, a pair of horses that are older and they're super broke and kid friendly and and Jet just treats them like they're his stuffed animal you know yeah. uh, we have a good time well that's good now I know also there was a dance floor that was Man. Yeah. named after you or dedicated to you this is the craziest thing so I, I grew up in Oolaga, Oklahoma small town northeast of Tulsa and uh, you know there's this population roughly a thousand people and there's a you know, outside of town, there's a little honky tonk, and and I've played there a thousand times just because it's my hometown. Right. And 
And it's where you learn how to play music. Right. Um, <laughs> so every time we're, we're back around the area, my band, we, we try to sneak in there and, and put on a show for them. And uh, we, we actually, so last summer, we shot a, a video for one of my new songs on the record, a song called All That Cowboy Jazz. There we go. And, uh, right. and it's just a Western swing kind of thing. Uh, um, I wrote it with Bill White and Zach Runquist. They're great writers here in town. And, um, so the gal who directed the video, Deb House, she wrote the treatment for this video. And she's like, man, we really need... Uh, like a dive honky tonk bar to shoot this in. I was like, I, I got the place, got it. and they'll book us anytime, you know. <laughs> so whenever you're ready. So, so we hauled the film crew from Nashville, and we went out to Ulaga, Oklahoma, and the whole town showed up. I'm not sure if they wanted to, you know, I'm not sure if they wanted to see the Nashville film crew or if yeah. they wanted to see, you know, support me in the new music. But regardless, Maybe the place. Both. Yeah, sure. Maybe both. sure. That's that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> but regardless, it was the place was packed and we had a fantastic time shooting the video for all that cowboy jazz well then we had a, a New Year's Eve run put together and on our way back to Nashville we I booked a stop there the Iron Horse the bar is called the Iron Horse and, and uh, when we loaded in Connie the owner she's like hey check out the dance floor I'm like oh that's cool you know and I walked over there to it and it's got my name on it and then the title of this song with we shot the video there and I just thought what in the world what I mean such a an honor. I mean, I realize it's not the, the Ryman Auditorium, but um, good well, gracious. It's the Ryman of that town, you, you dang right it is. Oh. And so I, it's, talk about honored. Um, I had no idea they were they were going to do that, and it was just a really, really special occasion. And that's sure. really cool to go back to your hometown to, to kind of yeah. shoot, shoot a video for a song that, that you've got coming out, and everybody from the hometown sure. coming to support you. We're, we're going to say they just came to support you. That's <laughs> yeah. what happened. And I'm sure that, that they did. Um, so you, but you've got a lot of things going on there. So you guys need to check him out. Get a copy of the album. Um, tell everybody where they can find you. So my website is just paulbogart.com. It's like Bogart, like Humphrey. Um, so paulbogart.com. I'm on, you know, every place where you stream okay. good old country music. That's where my music <laughs> is. So uh, you can check it out. Okay, you all go check it out and make sure you watch his social media for all the upcoming new baby pics. That's right. And <laughs> That's right. Send him good wishes, and we really do congratulate you on another baby and hope that she's that Tanya's in good form when you get home yeah. and not too angry or throwing nothing at <laughs> sure. you <laughs> but right. thank you so much Absolutely. for spending this time with us thank you Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in to our interview here at CRS 2018. Be sure to like us on social media, follow us, share us with your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.